What's up, everybody? Kinetic here, and welcome back to Diablo 3. This is a response video, actually, to Riker's Q&A uh, video that he did with legendary ARPG developer David Brevik, who we all know is responsible for games like Diablo 2 and also Marvel Heroes. Now, uh, Riker had the, the awesome chance to ask a bunch of questions to David Brevik, and one question that he, he pulled out and made into a video was a question about what David Brevik thought about Primal Ancients being added to Diablo 3. If you haven't seen that video, I'll have a link to it down in the description of this video, but I'll quickly kind of sum up how that went and then also give my response to, uh, to that and to sort of add to the discussion here of Primal Ancients. Now, Riker initially started this topic uh, by asking Mr. Brevik if he had heard about the existence of ancient legendaries in Diablo 3, and Mr. Brevik said no. He didn't even know that there were ancient legendaries in Diablo 3. So, his kind of experience and uh, you know knowledge about what's going on in D3 is well pretty lacking to say the least. And so, Riker further went on to say, well now they're adding ancient uh, primal ancients to the game that now have an even lower chance. It's only one percent that they'll drop. They have higher stats. What do you think about? Uh, these items being added to D3. Mr. Brevik's response to this was something along the lines of, in short, if you make it so that way there's too much RNG, or if you make it too difficult to, to get items that people want, then that frustrates players a lot. But as long as you show them a little light at the end of the tunnel and give them hope that they can get the items that they need or that they really, really want uh, for some reason, then you're good. Uh, and he kind of gave a couple of examples. He was even talking about World of Warcraft mounts and how, yes, some of those mounts are like extremely low you know, a chance to, to drop, but they're totally worth it. And you can see that, that people do have success in getting them. So it's it's kind of a nice balance there of RNG and kind of a ultra scarcity for that type of situation. But if it's overdone, then you really, yeah, you can really frustrate and make players rage quit from your game if there's too much RNG, if you make it too difficult to get items. Now, while it was interesting to get his, uh, his response to RNG, uh, unfortunately, like a lot of people, I don't think that he really has the right point of view on this. And, and again, in his defense, he's really lacking in experience and understanding what's going on in Diablo 3 and what do Primal Ancients really mean, if anything, to, uh, to the game. And so here's my response to that and why, for one, I don't think that Primal Ancients are really power creep, why uh, they're not going to uh, make your existing gear necessarily obsolete, and why, in general, really, we don't need to worry so much about the addition of Primal Ancients being added to Diablo 3. So I'll start with the first one, why Primal Ancients really aren't power creep. Power creep is generally accepted and understood as, for example, again, World of Warcraft kind of example. When an expansion comes out, you can expect that whatever badass gear you had on your character is now going to be replaced by something else, probably not that long, you know, into the next expansion. That's power creep when your items are most certainly now going to be obsolete uh, because of the the new uh, tier of items. Now, the reason why Primal Ancients aren't really power creep in Diablo 3 is because of the extremely low chance that you have to actually get these items. Unlike in World of Warcraft, where it's just inevitable that you are going to replace every single one of your pieces, that is not the case in Diablo 3. So even if you are someone who is maybe in non-season, you're completely decked out in really good world ancients for let's say your multi-shot demon hunter build or something like that, right? Unless it is perfectly rolled, those ancients, right? With max stats and all the stats exactly the way that you want them, you probably have a better chance of getting a better rolled ancient than you do actually getting a primal ancient to replace that gear. You know what I'm saying? So that's the difference. That's why the primal ancients are not power creep because you don't have a guaranteed chance. You don't even have a really good chance <laughs> of getting uh, those items that you're wearing replaced by primal ancients. This is the most important thing though. The, the most important point of view I think about uh, primal ancients that I have that 
Uh, for example, Mr. Brevik, unfortunately, I don't think he's really thought about this. And a lot of people in general that are arguing against Primal Ancients don't seem to have this point of view as well. And it's that Primal Ancients are not necessary in order to make you a successful player. They're not necessary to make builds work. It's simply more power. Uh, I've shown off builds in my videos where I take out a skill or I take out a, an, an item that uh, may be designed for the build and I can replace it with something else because it's only additional power. It's not necessary to make the build work. So as long as we can get the legendary items, the basic form of legendary items, and we still have a really good chance of getting the ancient versions, right? then we can perform just as well with those without needing Primal Ancients. And in fact, it's going to be that the person who can play better, their skill in playing a build, is going to outperform somebody that, for example, has Primal Ancients when it comes to the next season ladder climbing. Uh, no doubt, I am expecting to see people that may have had the luck of getting a Primal Ancient they're not going to be number one, right? Compared to somebody above them who has no Primal Ancients and is performing better than them. So that's it, really. As long as we have other forms of the same item that we can get and make work uh, to make our builds work and make us competitive, then we don't need to be worrying about Primal Ancients. There's a whole nother argument against uh, Primal Ancients that goes along the lines of something like, why is Blizzard wasting time uh, making Primal Ancients, this is really boring game design, why don't they do this, why don't do they do that, or something like that, why aren't they adding more variety, diversity, balancing and stuff like that to builds and stuff like that, instead of adding uh, more power through uh, Primal Ancients, and my response to that is, well, they are, obviously. Uh, in fact, nobody is saying, including Blizzard themselves, who really just kind of snuck this into the patch, with along with other balance changes and, and new legendary powers being added to, to items, it's proof that yes, they are obviously doing other things, not just uh, working on Primal Ancients. There's a lot of different things that they're working on. And on top of that, I mean, unfortunately, this is, this is it. This is what we have. We know if you've really been paying attention to not just the, uh, you know, the releases for Diablo 3, but actually what's going on behind the scenes, what we know about, what's going on with the Diablo 3 team at Blizzard, how they've been basically stripped down to a skeleton crew. This is what we have. This is all that we're really going to get is this kind of uh, amount of patching and updates to the game probably for the rest of the time that they're working on this game. Uh, it is what it is, and so I think we need to, instead of expecting some major reworks of things, like there's people that want sets elimin eliminated completely from uh, the game, you know, other people still want things like offline, trading, PvP, and stuff like that. This stuff is not coming. It's not happening. Again, with the, the small crew and what they have to work with in terms of resources, manpower, and money and all that, we cannot expect these things uh, to happen. We have to work with what they're giving us and we have to keep the conversation focused i think on going well okay this is what we have how do we make what we have work better for us you know as players and how do we communicate that effectively and constructively to the diablo 3 team that we still have their ears we're not raging at them and and you know turning them off from our feedback but stimulating them and getting a, a good conversation rolling here as far as how to actually make the game better if we've got a prime uh, a problem with primal ancients then we need to really think carefully about this and give a good convincing argument against or for Primal Ancients, not just, uh, you know, knee-jerk reactions and raging at, uh, at Blizzard on the forums about this. That's just not going to help anybody. It's not going to help you. It's not going to help Blizzard and the game if we, uh, if we act like that. So... Really, that's all I've got to say uh, on this video. Actually, there's one other thing that I want to add to this discussion about Primal Ancients, and that's about the, the acquisition of them. I completely dis disagree with any kind of token system. I disagree with uh, the reforge option in the Kanakium being reworked or anything like that. So in other words, as long as they are 
extremely rare to find, right? Not just for you, but for everybody, then they kind of are a non-issue, I think. Uh, but once you start trying to create a token system or uh, or a, a reforge option that uses mats or something like that, what you're then basically doing is you're giving the the advantage to people that maybe are forming groups to, to farm for Primal Ancients, or you're giving the option or the advantage to people that have a hell of a lot more time to to farm up the materials or the tokens or whatever it is compared to somebody that uh, can't play as much maybe because of their responsibilities with work or school or something like that, but still wants to be competitive and maybe would be otherwise on, for example, a season leaderboard or something like that. You know what I'm saying? So I think that... Primal Ancients should be restricted to drop only, as in killing monsters and they drop. So no Kadala, no tokens, no Kanai Cube or anything like that. Keep them ultra scarce, right? So that way they are, like I said, they're they're not an issue uh, and not something that we can compete over even more so because of different ways that they can be acquired. And another way to look at it again is, well, if you're increasing the means and the ways that people can get premolations, then you're only creating actually more of a power creep system that then does mean that as long as you keep playing forward, then you are inevitably going to give yourself access to primal ancients that is going to replace the items that you worked and farmed so hard for. So there you go. That's kind of an, an addendum response to uh, Riker's video and the whole token suggestions that have been flying around and stuff like that. I just, I really don't think that that's a good idea. Keep them ultra, ultra rare to find. I do appreciate Riker and David Brevik talking about this. I appreciate his response on the matter. Uh, but like I said, I don't think that he, he's really had a good opportunity to really think about and he doesn't have the experience in terms of what's going on in Diablo 3 to really give a good answer about, uh, you know, what's what the pros are and the cons are of Primal Ancients. I think if he had more time to think about this, who knows, maybe he would even uh, agree with me that uh, that this isn't actually the same kind of thing that he was talking about when he was talking about how RNG can be uh, crippling to a player's enjoyment because really, if anything, it's the RNG that's making Primal Ancients not even an issue in the first place as long as we've got access to the other items and so on and so forth. But that's enough rambling from me. I want to know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Click the like button to support Diablo 3 here on the channel and make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss the next video. Thanks again for watching. This is Kinetic and I'll see you next time.